Greetings to all my Century Unit Galaxy, it's the Century Man here, so back again with another episode of the MCU movie review series. So today I'm reviewing the sixth movie of Phase 3 of the MCU, that is Black Panther. This movie was released in February of 2018, directed by Ryan Kuja. I saw this movie at the time in cinemas with my friend, loved it. I saw it three times for the next two or three years, the second time on TV, and the third time on the Disney Plus app. My opinions on this movie is still the same. This has got to be in the top 10 or even the top 5 best films of the MCU so far. And they did well in the box office, you know, money-wise, you know. You know, I, I really love this movie, you know. And this movie review, you know, me talking about this film, this is going to be in an emotional way. I'm not going to cry, but this is going to be in a depressed, sad movie review to talk about this film. Because this summer marks the one year anniversary of the death of Chadwick Boseman who died at the age of 43 last year. I think he died of colon cancer. And I said to myself, because my cousin told me the death about Chadwick Boseman. And, you know, I saw it on the news, you know. I said to myself, I can't believe, you know, he's dead. Because, he, because he's Black Panther. Because I was looking for it for the sequel. Of, you know, Black Panther 2, but unfortunately, I'll get to talk about Black Panther 2 later on in this review, you know. And I'll talk more about his death, um, yeah, later on in this review, so anyway, so let's talk about the cast of this movie. And the names of the characters and the names of the actors or the actresses portraying the, uh, the characters of this film is basically, it's gonna really drive me mad, <laughs> you know, it's very hard to pronounce these names, you know, they've got foreign names, um, anyway, we got, um, Chawit Bozeman playing the role as Inchala Black Panther, we got Michael B. Jordan playing the role as, you know, Eric Stevens, Ned Jagda, was it Ned Jada? I'm gonna call him Killmoga, you know, there's a Wakandian name, but, you know, you know, it's Eric Stevens Killmoga. Um, you know, he was a good, he was the villain of this movie. Loved him. You know, not loved him as a, you know, loved him is his role in this movie. You know, he's a good actor, Michael B. Jordan. You know, this is the second Marvel movie he's in. His first one was in that crappy Fantastic Four movie in 2015. Don't want to go there. It's on the Disney Plus app, you know. Um, the Fantastic Four movie, the 2015 one. I like the, um... The the mid two thousand yeah the late to mid two thousands uh, Fantastic Four movies you know the fir the two thousand five movie and the two thousand seven movie you know Rise of the Silver Silver I kind of liked it because I like it one with uh, Jessica Alba Chris Evans and you'll become the future Captain America and also Michael Chiklis as the thing you know that's just me you know one day I might review Fantastic Four the two movies not reviewing the twenty fifteen one. You know, I know decided to review that movie or watch that movie because uh, for different purposes, you know. Anyway, so he plays really well as Kilmoga. He, you know, because I think his motive is ruling Wakanda. You know, you know, she, you know, you know she, basically because Wakanda is like this secret um, domain, this small country in Africa. It's isolated, uh, really sheltered against the whole world, you know, because they got, you know, Viberium. He wants to, like, sh get the Viberium ar around the world. That's what is basically his motives. I'll get to more of, you know, Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmoka, later on in this review. So let's talk about the rest of the, the character, uh, the, the, the cast of this film, sorry. Anyway, uh, we got Lupita, man, I'm gonna butcher this actress name, Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, she plays Nakia in this movie, but she's kind of like not the love interest of Inchala. Um, because they're more like friends than love interests. I'm glad they don't have to, you know, not all Marvel movies have to put like a love interest in this movie. You know, we see that in Random Rock and Homecoming and yeah, they kind of teased it with um, Quill and Gamora. Uh, that's another story for another time. But, yeah, they don't need to do that, you know. But, they they, can't, they did kiss in the end of this movie, but they're more like friends, that more than lovers, you know. I think, um, so, let's move on. Let's move on. So, we got, uh, Denai Guerrera as a Kore. Um, she was badass in this fucking movie. I don't know much about, um, you know, Nakia in this movie. She, 
she did a bit, a bit, but she was the fucking a badass in the movie. The the fight in a Korean casino in the early, in the in the middle parts of the film. She was wearing a fucking wig. I think she complained about wearing the wig, you know. Anyway, so um, let's move on to the next the next next uh, person I'm going to talk about is Letitia White. She plays Sh uh, Shori. Shori. It's um, S H U R I. Um, she play. Uh, she's kind of like the scientist, you know. She's kind of like the younger sister to Inchala. Her and uh, Chadwick Boseman had really good chemistry. They're kind of like taking the piss, you know, siblings taking the piss out of each other, you know, in the beginning of the, you know, like, and also with, um, you know, Ikore in the beginning of this movie, um, he said to Inchala, do not freeze, and, 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 and Inchala says, I never freeze, and then, and he find, they'll find this mercenary, the kidnapping women, and, you know, and, and Kari says, you freeze, and then Zari, uh, like, years later, um, years later, m minutes later in this movie, said, um, did he freeze? Um, he freezed like an antelope in headlights. <laughs> I kind of laughed. And also, and I think, like, Inchala did a dig towards, uh, uh Shiri. Now, these names are going to drive me nuts, like I said. Shiri, he said, she said to Shiri, like, maybe, what are you, you going to do now? Update your ceremony outfit, and then... Shiri give Inchala the middle finger. I kind of laughed. I kind of fucking laughed. You know, when she did that. Um. Anyway, uh, we got... Yeah, we got um, Angela Bassett as Ramonda. Uh, she plays Inchala's uh, mother. You know, you know I, thought, I thought she plays uh, Amanda Waller in Suicide Squad, but... But it was a different actress. Um, the actress play Amanda Waller in Suicide Squad was Viola Davis. Anyway, she was good. She was okay, but I, I don't want to. She kind of lost in the shuffle in this movie. They kind of this movie. They kind of cram a lot of black established actors and actresses in this film. Um, sometimes they kind of get lost in the shuffle. Anyway, uh, we got Winston Duke as Mbaku. Um. This movie kind of put his, put his career on the map. He put in like um, this movie, Affinity War. That's the next episode to review, and also I think his character got blipped by Thanos, and I don't know. He put in um, End uh, Games. I do not know, and it's not the last time we've seen um, Embaku in this movie. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm I'm almost going a blank here. Um, because, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I forgot to talk about, oh yeah, I'm talking about Wakandi, uh, the Wakandians, that's a, a new Marvel movie, it's gonna, not Marvel movie, but a, a new Marvel show on the Disney Plus app, and I don't know I'm trying to tell you, yeah, I was like, oh my god, I'm drawing, I'm going a blank here, you know, I, I ought to say something, I almost forgot to forgot, almost fucked up, but I managed to recover it, yeah. Uh, the Wakardians, I think he's going to be that. It's gonna, likely he's going to be in the sequel to Black Panther 2. Oh, like I said, I'll talk to those Wakardians and... I think it's called the Wakardians or the Women's of Wakanda, I don't know. I'll talk, I'll talk about it later on in this review. He did, he did okay in this movie. He was decent in this movie. In the in the fight scene with N'Challa, you know, fight Indy on the gorge scene. And then he, you know, he saved N'Challa's life, you know. You know, because N'Challa was surrounded by snow... And he has some humor with his character, you know, with um, your friend like Shuri, Nakira, Everett Ross. We'll get to his character a little bit shortly. Um, and um, let's see, I think Ramonda, you know, said about like one more words. I'm going to feed you to my children. And he said, get in, I'm vegetarian. And also when Inchala and Juri, you know, Nikira, had their moments, and then you got like a, you know, Mbaku did that loud yawn, it's like, ooh, are you done? Seriously, are you done? And also, yeah, he kind of spared in Charles' life, you know, I spare your life, life of life, on your depth, and also he helped him fight in that Wakandian battle, in the final battle scene in the movie. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, yeah, he was only there for a little bit, you know, you just, what, it's just, he was kind of there. I'm not saying he was bad, but he was decent in this movie. Um, anyway, uh, we got... Uh, yeah, we got Everett Ross, um, played by Martin Freeman. Um, I'm not a big fan of this character, you know. You know. By the way, um, yeah, Inchala's first bow in the MCU was in Captain America Civil War. 
that was that is the same as um Everett Ross played by Martin Freeman. Not keen. I'm not a big fan of Martin Freeman because I because he appeared in the Hobbit films. You know, I saw a clip. I I, I had no plans of watching the whole movie of the Hobbit. I don't like the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. The look it looks cartoonish. You know, with the you know the, because they have big fucking feet. So like when I see it, it's like holy fucking shit, man. It's like. I'm glad I'm a Harry Potter fan. Holy shit, you know. They do way better than Lord of the Rings. Sometimes it's a bit cringy. You know, that's my that's my nitpick on it. You know. Anyway, him as Everett Ross. He was... He's just in a suit and tie. You know, they're trying to fill... He's trying to fill the boots of Coulson. Unfortunately, that's not... Unfortunately, it's never panned out. You know, he, he was fine in this movie. He was kind of... Yeah, he's just a kind of suit and tie... And I hope I hope it's his last appearance in the MCU, but I think he could be in future projects, you know. He's a busy uh, actor, uh, Martin Freeman. You know, I'm not a bit, yeah, I'm just not keen on him. He was okay. Um, He got, yeah, he got shot in the back, you know, protecting Nakira. I don't know if he didn't kill him off. I don't know if he was, yeah, he didn't get killed off. He got shot in the back, you know, to save him. You know, you know he'll he won't be dead. He'll probably be paralyzed from the waist down. But they're glad they never do that because they got because Wakanda, Wakanda got that proper technology to help heal people easily because you know if it if it was a, a lie if it was exist today Wakanda you know they'll probably barely die they'll probably die they'd be low low of deaths you know because they got the technology to heal people faster and and stop death. Um, anyway, let's move on to the, the next one, the ne yeah, I'm let's talk about fucking Andy Serkis as, uh, you, was it, Ulysses Claw. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I like that character, you know, you know, he appeared in, uh, Age of Ultron, the 2015 movie, you know, Avengers 2, you know, you had the scene with him and the Maximoffs, Wanda and Pietro, and Ultron. And he did that, like, remark about, you know, you got to talk about Cuttlefish. That was in Age of Ultron. In this movie, he was kind of like this psychopath, you know, this um, arm dealer. He's from South Africa, you know, Andy Serkis speaking in a South African accent, you know. You know, unless his claw, you know, claw was singing, you know, interrogation. This was the interrogation scene in this movie, the ring career, between Martin Freeman's character and Andy Serkis' character, you know, Everett Ra Ross and... And Claw, you know, you got Claw singing with "What Is Love." I kind, I, I kind of laugh for that. I kind of laugh, and it's really funny. They're in the same movie. They're in the, I think they're in the Hobbit movie. Um, that is, um, you know, that's Andy Serkis and um, Martin Freeman because everyone knows like Andy Serkis was in the Lord of the Rings movie as Gollum. You know, he put in the Gollum character put in the Hobbit movie. I think that's uh, the prequel to the Lord of the Rings movie, because his character got killed off in Return of the King, you know. Um, yeah, he got killed off by Killmoga, you know, he had a decent c uh, screen time in this movie, and uh, it's a damn shame that, um, you know, that character was dead, you know, he's there for a bit, you know. It's funny, funny part, they're in the museum scene, uh, you got like Killmoga confronting this female employee of the museum, talking about African artifact, and they talk, when they get to that um, spit, I think it was an axe, he said like, nah, this is in, uh, it was in Benin, but it was actually in Wakanda, you know, he said about like, you know, I'm going to take it off you, and then this female um, employee says, it's not, it's not for sale, sir, so how do your ancestors got the weapon, do they buy it at a fair price, or talk it like they talk everything? And then the the miss the female employee of the museum drank like her coffee and she kind of like was getting ill. She's having a bit of a tummy ache. And then you know Claw Claw and his um lackey dress up like panamanics and shoot the um other the male employees or the security guards of the museum. And he said to the other one of the men security guards that's Claw uh, said about if you run away now. It, I let you go, but don't tell anyone. He runs and he managed to shoot him. You know, you know it's like, and then he had um, Killmarker says, "Why are you shooting? Why are you shooting for? You know, spread out the crime scene. You know, it looks amateurish. You know, it's kind of like whatever, whatever. Yeah, his character was yeah killed off. You got Killmarker grabbing his body towards Wakanda. That was badass. You know, it kind of established Killmarker as a killer. 
he's a character you don't be fuck with, you know, he's not that type, you know, you can tell this movie is not Marvel, you know, he's not that type of villain like, I'm gonna blow shit up, no, he's kind of like ruling Wakanda, because the motive of his, the Kelmoga character, you know, the Eric Stevens character in this movie, you know, his motive is revenge on the, you know, Wakanda, because his dad, um, N'Chaka, N'Chaka play, really, let's talk about N'Chaka a little bit, you know, N'Chaka plays by John Canney, who appeared in Captain America Civil War, he's currently got killed off in the UN, and then he appeared in the astral plane bit, you know, they had a, 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 a father and son relationship in that uh, scene, because in China, this was after, you know, in Charlotte's fight with Mbaku, you know, he's in the, um, the ancestral plane, had this, um, father and son, uh, time, bonding time, and, you know, and also, the young Inchaka played by his son, he was called S1, was it, S1, was it, Estamwa, yeah, Estamwa, uh, Kani, who plays the younger version of Inchaka. Inchaka killed, um, you know, Killmarker's dad because he was working with Kroll, you know, sneaking, you know, Viberium. I understand, like, their motives, and also, you know, yeah, and Charla confronts his dad in the astral plane after, you know, the big fight with Kilmoga because Kilmoga beat the living fuck out in Charla. It said about, is that your king? If that's your king, you know, it, it, this is the Black Panther, right? Leading, uh, leading you to the future. This is, he's gonna protect you. He kind of picked him up, threw him off the the cliff, and then you know he was into the um the Jabari tribe in the snow and then you know he went to he returned to the astral plane before he's gonna like join his dad in peace you know he's you could call like he's dead 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 but he, but he kind of confronting about why he did not talk Killmoga to Wakanda because yeah he's not he, he's never born in Wakanda his dad is Wakandian and his mom is American he's from Amer from America he's from Oakland you know in California he kind of confronting like yeah, you know, you know, in Chaka says like he's the truth. I have to omit him. It's right for I did it for the people. I did it for Wakanda. You know, and he, he you know, you got in Chala says you are wrong. All of you are wrong. Um, you know, because and also I think about everything because they because they're, they're trying to keep it as a secret uh, country, and the reason why they don't they don't want to give out the Viberian because you don't want the Viberian into the wrong hands, like terrorists, you know, that could be the reason, so, and also, and also, in the, you know, in the post credit scene in this movie, you know, you got Inchala, you know, this movie is, yeah, by the way, this movie is not an RG movie, I'm glad they don't, we don't have to see an RG, yeah, I think this movie doesn't really need an RG movie, because so far in the MCU, we saw, you know, superhero movies, you know, with RG movies, how this person become this superhero, but this movie, yeah, you're like, uh, Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man Homecoming is a good example not to have an RG movie because you don't need it, we've already seen it. But in Black Panther, it's the events after the events of, you know, you know, N'Chaka got killed in the explosion, got, yeah, because Zemo, played by Daniel Brawl, you know, killed him and framed Bucky, you know, go and check my review. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I talk about Zemo's character in, because I covered, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier show, I covered, you know, Captain America Civil War. Yeah, th uh, you know, he, yeah, he got killed by Zemo. So this is months after. This is it's a, it's all about Inchala becoming a better leader, a better king. You know, why you know put it that. Anyway, so boy, but but boy, yeah, you can tell it's not really a superhero movie because Inchala in Charla is living two different lives. He's the king of a, of a country. You know, he's not that. You know, the people, the the press say Wakanda is a third world country, but in reality, it's the fucking rich. They got Viberian. It's not like a, a domain, a beautiful place to go. Um, it's a beautiful place to see. And also, the people crap on the CGI. It's typical. They always do that in movies. I don't. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, the rhinos in this in the final battle look CGI because they don't have that to look. They don't want to put actual rhinos in a battlefield because yeah, they end up killing you. You end up getting appalled by their horns. I'm glad they never do that, you know. But anyway, um, you got yeah, you got Daniel Kaluka as Wakabi. He was kind of meh, you know. I put a lot of wrestling terms in my movies reviews, you know, when I review an MCU movie, you know, use like bring up face and heels, you know. 
he's kind of like a heel from the get-go. He said to um, um, Inchala, you know, after they failed to capture Claw because he got um, escaped by Killmoga. He said about did because he said oh, I I slipped. He said yeah. He said to Inchala, um, I fought with you. It's going to be different, but it's still the same. And also that he's teaming up with Killmoga. You know, ruling would serve him. And also, he, he didn't got killed off. He didn't really got killed off. Um, Daniel's uh, Kaluka's character. He had a fight with uh, uh, Kore, you know. And he, you know, Kore says, drop the weapon, my love. You know, it's, that's kind of weird. Because they're not like, you know, girlfriend. They're not like girlfriend and boyfriend. I don't know why they say my love. Yeah, I'm glad they did not kill his character off. You know, I don't think it's the last time we see uh, his character. We'll, we'll get to... You know, you know, Black Panther two, and also uh, the the Wakandian show and the Disney Plus app later on in this review. So maybe the character might come back in future movies. We don't know. Anyway, so I mean, yeah, I think I cover most of it. Um, yeah, um, because I'm gonna save more time talking about Ch Chadwick Bosman. Um, Bosman, Bozeman, sorry. I better call him Bosman in my review of Captain America: Civil War. It's very hard. It's, I thought it was Bossman, but they pronounce they pronounce it Bozeman because his name, you know, I'm gonna spell his surname. It's B O S E M A N S, not S, but uh, yeah, it's B. I'm gonna yeah, it's B O S E M A N. Anyway, yeah, you, you can tell they're moving. They kind of pushed away. They're not gonna focus on this. Is not a Marvel movie. This is just basically. In this movie, they kind of pushed this, like, African mythology in this movie. I kind of liked it. It has that feel in this movie. That The, the music in this movie, that played a lot of African music, you know, African culture music in this film. It ma makes sure you feel like you feel like you're in Wakanda. You know, I liked it because, um, because in the Thor movies, the, it's combined with sci-fi and Viking mythology. Um, mostly, you know, like Captain America, Captain uh, yeah, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Spider Man. They're basically superhero movies. Um, we, you know, Ragnarok is a sci-fi movie, same as Go the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Ant Man is focused on the Earth, and the next movie, uh, the future movie, or Shang Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings, that's focused on the um the the Far East Chinese mythology. You know, I'm glad they covered about that. You know. You know, you know, you know. You can tell they're not focused on the Mar the Marvel movie. It's not a Marvel superhero movie. It's just basically like it's all about you know, you know, a king ruling this small country in Africa and rights its wrongs. Um, because it's barred and sheltered against the world. Because yeah, let's talk about the UN scene in this movie. Um, in the UN in the UN scene in the post credit scene in the film, you got you got Inchala said about we're gonna help you. This Wakanda's not it's got, got out its shadow because I think he, you know also you see like in the end of this movie he kind of bought the building that it's the same building when you know in Jabu played by he played by Sterling K Brown got, you know in, in Chaka killed you know Killmarker's dad you know he bought it you know he's turned it into like a re a Wakandian um, research exchange or whatever it's called. You know, um, he's doing the right thing, trying to help, not just, you know, he's a person, not just help his country, he's going to serve his country, he's, he's going to serve his country, but in the same, you know, because he's a fucking king, but at the same time, he's helping other people around the world, you know. Anyway, um, so, um, another post credit scene I did not saw, because I only saw the UN scene in cinemas at the time, but there's another post credit scene, I saw it. You know, when I saw trying to attempt to review this movie on the Disney Plus app, is Bucky. Bucky appeared in the other post credit scene in the film with Shuri. Um, basically, um, he was wearing a loincloth. This is you can tell it's after you can, it's an aftermath from Civil War. You know, you know, you basically he's still missing an arm. He get like a black arm in Infinity War. It's playing the seats of Infinity War. Anyway, so. Ba, 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 ba. Anyway, and also I forgot one a person I forgot to talk about is Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker is in this movie. You know, uh, my first my first exposure to Forrest Whitaker was in a movie called Phone Booth. He was it was stars of Colin Farrow in it. He played I think he plays like a police officer. Um, it's been a long time. I think that movie was released in what what two thousand six two thousand seven. 
and I saw it. I don't know. I might do if I find it one day. The movie phone booth. I might review it and um, on this channel, the movie phone booth. And he put in the you know his first movie uh, to put on the map. I think it was Bloodspot. He put in Bloodspot. You know the John Claude Van Damme movie that was in 1988, and he put in uh, Star Wars. He put in Rogue One. You know I kind of like Forrest Whitaker. He he died in you know Star Wars Rogue One. He also died in his movie because. Because in the fight scene between, in, in the in the gorge, you know, the ritual combat scene, the second ritual combat scene in the movie between Killmoger and Chala, you know, he's about to kill him, and then Zuri, um, Zuri, that's his name, there's Shuri, you know, that's pronounced S-H-U-R-I, and, and Zuri, that's Forrest Whitaker character, it was pronounced Z-U-R-I, you know, he, he said, like, don't take him. I'm I'm the cause of his dad. Take me, and and Killmonger says I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill you both, Uncle James. That's his, his fake name. You know he didn't really do, because Killmonger remembers him. Re remember his auntie, that's Ramonda. He's not like oh you know because he's like remember him you know and he's basically don't not care. Says I'll kill you both, Uncle James. He killed him. He never seen Zuri ever again because he blame um, because he blames um uh, blames him for the death of you know Injabu. You know, um, you know, um, that's uh, Killmarker's dad. You know, you know, it's the last time. We, yeah, it's the last time we see him. You know, he's not there for. He's not going to be the most important character in the movie. He's just kind of like there. You know, he's blamed for his. You know, Killmarker's dad's dead, and you know that's a, that's a, another character I forgot to talk about. So yeah, um, I think that's it. Um, most of the, yeah, most of the talk about um this movie, and uh, you know, we've got about. 26 minutes, about 50, we've got another 15 minutes, I'm going to talk about the rest of it, rest about Chadwick Boseman, uh, Boseman, sorry, Jesus Christ, Chadwick Boseman's death, oh yeah, and another, yeah, in the casino scene, you know, you got crawl, you know, like, you know, he's kind of like, I want to you know, play, I like that music, you know, he's, you know, he's got the fucking arm, you know, he's got the mechanical arm, it was an arm blaster because his real arm got killed, it got chopped off by Ultron, in Affinity, uh, not Affinity War, uh, Age of Ultron, I'm trying to say, and, um, yeah, I kind of like Alusis Crawl, it's a damn shame we're not going to see Andy Serkis, um, in this, uh, in the MCU ever again, he might come back in, in, in prequels, in flashback sequences, but I, you know, that character is good, in my opinion, you know, he, he was kind of like, like, he's a bit of a screw loose, you know, you know, he's a nutter, you know, and you know because you know because he got killed off because because Killmonger doesn't care about money. He cares about getting to one Kanye confront the king. Um, because what? Because you know Charles' dad, you know, did to his dad, killed his dad. Anyway, so because because his dad trying to shoot him, but he got stabbed in the chest with his claws. And also Killmonger's costume, you know, his Black Panther suit. You know, Inchala's suit is black and silver, and Killmonger's suit is black and gold. You know, and uh, uh, another funny scene in this movie it was in a, it was in a laboratory scene between Inchala and and Shuri, um, and he did you know she does like um, the, he said she did like what are those you know like he was wearing like sandals um, and then and then when they're testing out the suits you know he hit the you know he hit like one Black Panther suit it's like don't hit it hard it's like you didn't tell me how hit hard but he did it again and also he's re recording it so in Ch in yeah and Charles said to Zuri uh why are you why are you recording it um uh, research purposes <laughs> and he hit he hit the suit but the suit kind of black bla blast this purple blast he kind of fall over the table <laughs> Zuri, uh, Shiri trying to laugh and then and then yeah then Charles says delete that footage I kind of like the chemistry between um, yeah, N'Challa and N'Jiri, it's the only movie they did, it's a damn shame, we'll get, I'll get to, you know, the devil of Chadwick Bosman, uh, his death, um, a bit right now, you know, I think I, yeah, I'm gonna cover most of the movie, if I missed out the most important scene in this movie, I'm sorry, maybe, you know, it's just, just write down in the comment section below, so, anyway, let's talk about the death of Chadwick Bos uh, Bosman. like I said, he died 43 years of age. You know, my cousin informed me that he died, and then, you know, I was, you know, I was shocked, and then I checked on the news. I can't believe it. I said it in the beginning of this movie review, 
and it's just kind of like, oh my, holy crap, man, he, 43 years of age. And also, recently he won a gold, a golden globe, and his wife accepts his award, and she was emotional, you know, it's just like, it's very damn shame that he's not around, he's not there to accept this award uh, in person. You know, I know he's not in the arena, because at the time, it's still, we're still in the middle of the pandemic. But, you know, in foot, in video form, you know, talk about his speech, how, because that was, a, I don't know what movie he accepted, what movie uh, won him the Golden Globe, I don't know, it's not Black Panther, I think it was a different movie, but it's a damn shame. His wife was, her wife, yeah, I'm going to be honest, her wife is, his wife is smoking hot, man, she is beautiful, stunning. I, I done my research, I, I also type in, does Chadwick Boseman have kids? And I like typed it, and it says no. And it, it really it kicks a lot of people in the balls in a in an emotional way because he doesn't have kids. I thought he had kids. It'd be really sad if he had, really had kids. It'd be heartbroken that they're not gonna see their dad ever again. Because and before his death, you were you know the, I think it was a social media video of him very slim. You know because I never knew he had cancer. I thought he was slim because he's preparing for the next role. Of a future movie, but instead he had cancer. He had stage three uh, colon cancer. You know, it's just like it kicks me in the balls for that um, to see that the you know he had cancer. You know, you know he had, he had cancer since 2016. He had that disease for four years until his death last summer. Yeah, let's talk about Black Panther too. Um, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Because these Marvel movie review, you know, the MCU movie reviews, I'm trying to keep it down to a half an hour to a quarter an hour videos, you know, reviews of these movies. But, um, yeah, I don't think um, that will throw the spanner of the sequel. I think it's going to, I, I don't know how they're going to savage Black Panther 2 without Black Panther because um, the, Ryan Kuja, the director of this movie, said he's not going to recast Inchala, you know, another person t to play the role as Black Panther Inchala. It was, I thought like Michael B. Jordan's gonna be in the role as uh, Black Panther because he had a, a solid performance in, you know, in this movie. Yeah, his character got killed off. You know, you know, he got, you know, had that fight scene in the train. You know, Inchala stabbed Kilmoga in the chest with the sword, and he said like to Kilmoga, he's Kilmoga said about you know, my dad one day. I said, I run around like a fairy tale. Said one day he's gonna take me to Wakanda, and then he he, he took him to like see the sunset, and he said we, we might heal heal you. And Kilmoga says, um, why you gotta lock me up? And then he kind of pulled the sword out of his body, and then he died, you know. And he said, well, you know, throw my body into the ocean like my ancestors did. Yeah, but and also he was a Navy SEAL. I think he served the, his country like in the army. Um, that was a bit of a background of him. Anyway, let's get back to, yeah, back to the Black Panther 2 potential. Yeah, I don't think it's got, not, I don't think it's not going to happen, you know. Who's going to play, because Chadwick Boseman play, nailed that character in, in both, in Civil War and this movie, out of the park. It's going to be very hard to have another black actor to fill his boots, you know. And I don't think they're gonna do it like an act, a, an actor doing C, you know, half like Chadwick Boseman come back in, in CGI form, because I think Star Wars got a lot of shit in Last Jedi, uh, not Last Jedi. I think it was the Last Skywalker, the the recent uh, Star Wars film with uh, Carrie Fisher playing, you know, as uh, Princess Leia, because this this movie came off three, nearly three years since his her death. You know, she died. In I think it was late 2016. Yeah, she was around. She was alive in the sequel, you know, you know, Last Jedi. But she was dead in. She was dead in two years. You know, she was not. She was not around in person to portray the role as Princess Leia in the Last um, Skywalker. I think she. The rumor that she was played by a daughter in CGI form. I think that really pissed off um, Star Wars fans. You know, you know, if they if she ca he came back in CGI form, or in Black Panther two. You know, in you know, basically, the the her his lines will splice into this movie, that will basically piss off Marvel fans. I think, in my opinion, I think they need to retire the character in live action form. I'm sorry, I think they need to cancel that film. You know, how are you gonna portray 
but Black Panther with a different person, it's going to be very difficult. You know, it's just like, if it was, you know, if it was a different actor in, instead of Chadwick Boseman, I don't think this character would be that, you know, memorable and good. You know, if it's like just, I don't know, Will Smith, no disrespect, or or Wesley Snipes, or even, um, ba -ba -ba. I don't know Michael B. Jordan, but, um, no, um, or any type of black actor playing the role is in China. It's going to be very difficult, you know. Yeah, I think they need to cancel the production, you know. Yeah, it was planned, I think there were plans for doing it, I think this plan, I think Black Panther 2 was supposed to be released this, um, this year, unfortunately, they pushed it back next year, and then in the death of Chadwick Bosman, um, a Bozeman's shit. Chadwick Bozeman's death, you know, kind of like, it was one, it's more of a circus, that, you know, his death was really, really was the nail in the coffin of a sequel, you know. And also, I don't, I checked on Wikipedia that, um, he's gonna appear in, this is before his death, He's putting um, What If, that's the next um, Marvel show on the Disney Plus app. I think it's after Loki, um, that will be in mid-2021. So about basically in maybe, Aug not August, it's likely to be in September, October time. He's playing the role as Inchala and also Stoneland. So it's kind of like, I think it's like a multi multi-first show. I need to watch, I've seen a little bit of the trailer, not all of the trailer. I can't wait to watch that. And also, his, you know, let's talk about his major movies, put him on the map. So, he plays Jackie Robinson in a movie called 42. It was a baseball film, and then he was a, a black lawyer called, was it, Third God, Third God Marshall? And in the in the movie called Marshall, that was in, I think that was like 20, that was in the mid-2010. So, yeah, 42 was released in 2013. He was, he was fucking James Brown in Get, it was it Get On Up? What was it called? Get On Up? In twenty in two thousand fourteen, you know, you know he plays James Brown. You know, I heard a lot. I heard I know James Brown is, you know, but him playing the role as James Brown that was good. And then Marshall, and then what's about his final movie before before his timely death? His final movie um is called I think it's called My My Black Bot My Rainy Black Bottom. I think that's the name of the movie. It's produ he, he play he, he stars alongside Fiola Davis who plays Amanda Waller in Suicide Squad and also it was produ it's gonna be produced by Denzel Washington fucking hell you know you know I'm big I like Denzel Washington you know another black uh, a good established black actor producing a movie so I think it's likely to be a theater be in theaters you know if I do I'm gonna watch it you know. And it's gonna be it likely it's gonna be like in you know, like lovely uh tribute to um Chadwick Bozeman, you know, give him a final send off, you know. You know, I think he will remember his legacy will remain forever. What might you know, his career what might have been, you know, he didn't have the cancer. He could have a, a good established career. Unfortunately, that's not going to be. So he'll be remembered for forty two, get on up, you know, the James Brown movie, Marshall and you know, in the Marvel movies. And also the actresses in the MCU, you know, actors and actresses you know, of the MCU paying tribute to in Ch uh, to Chadwick uh, Boseman, like uh, Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, um, Elizabeth Olsen. She looks emotional. Um, Winston Duke, um, Be Benedict Cumberbatch, you know, um, and also another. You got Whippy Goldberg paying tribute to Chadwick, in a, you know, it's a, in a good way. You know, because they're not going to see him ever again. And also, the Marvel intro of this film, you know, I think it's different. It's not a tra traditional Marvel uh, intro in the beginning of the movie with the you know, show like superheroes like Cripple Hulk, Iron Man, C Captain America, Black Widow. No, it's all about Chadwick Bosman. I think that I think it's re-edit because I, I think it was a good way to pay tribute to. They did way to pay tribute to Chadwick. And they did it well, you know, it's not the normal Marvel intro of the start of the film. No, it's just, it's in purple, and you see some scenes of, you know, Chadwick Postman in the role as Black Panther in Charla, so. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this movie review, so I'm going to give it four, yeah, four stars. So, I hope you enjoyed my review of Black Panther. You know, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, smash the like button, and subscribe to the Central Mind Network on YouTube for more wrestling videos. Marvel videos and more next episode. I can't wait. That'll be 
this weekend I'm going to review Avengers Infinity War. One of the gotta be one of the best films of the MCU today. So that's next time folks. Le uh, this is Ascension Man officially signing out. Check you later. Yeah. You know, if you got this on the Disney Plus app, I suggest you watch Black Panther Man. It kinda expire, you know, black demographic, you know. It, it all demographics, so yeah. Check you later folks. I'm out.